Hi everyone, it's Marty Harger and welcome to Essential Yoga with Marty Harger. Today I want to talk with you about some tools to quiet all of the noise that we have swirling around us right now. These are some tools to help us integrate the silence, the quiet, and listen to ourselves. Right now it's very easy to get swept away in fear. You know, we have a full moon, we have some horrific wildfires going on out in California, and I'm just wishing safety for all of our good friends out there. We have the pandemic that is spiking in many places. We have a presidential election and, and other election season that is quite tumultuous. And we're going back indoors in some parts of the world, which creates its own sense of concern and fear in many cases. And school is like a crazy fest for a lot of parents. And what I'm kind of likening this to is almost like lightning bolts, like jolting down unexpectedly. If you've ever watched a lightning storm, you know what I'm talking about. It's very easy to get distracted from all of these lightning bolts of, of energy and, and ah, that's going on around us. And at times we can feel very inflamed. We can uh, really feel this heat rising within our emotions and it can lead us to a lot of anxious feelings at times. So today I want to really encourage you to just stop and to breathe and I want us to take a look at the idea of how we can use our yoga practice with our essential oils which is what essential yoga is all about. And I've got three suggestions for you today to help you monitor where you choose to focus and to turn off or to turn down the noise. So there's a lot of noise right now and um, it's important that we have ways that we can bring ourselves to a place of calm and peacefulness. So the first essential oil I wanna talk with you about today is sandalwood. Uh, sandalwood is a very calming and soothing oil and this is something that really starts us in a place of stillness. So what I love about sandalwood is that it is the oil of sacred devotion and it gives us a place to tap into our higher consciousness. It's a wonderful oil for a third eye application. It's a wonderful oil to then bring those thoughts down into our heart. And I'm going to be talking about that with all three of these oils today. If you take in the aroma of the sandalwood and really breathe it in deeply, This is a tool that can really help you to quiet your mind from overthinking and to move you more into your heart, to really identify and listen to the energy behind the words that you're hearing around you. What is the energy that is swirling around and how can you choose to put that outside of yourself and bring within you what you need to stay in a place of peace and calm? The second essential oil I want to talk with you about today is the oil of compassion, which is magnolia. And I have this little roller bottle of magnolia that came in the Precious Petals collection for Mother's Day. Again, I would encourage you to do a third eye application with the magnolia and to, you can put it on your hand if you want like this and or fingertips and apply it to the heart for um, a great way to tap that heart energy and bring your thoughts of compassion from this crown chakra level down into the heart. Just swirl it on down. So when we take in the magnolia, which is a beautiful flower, of course flower oils are always balancing for our hormonal system, but and very good for the skin, of course. But magnolia is an oil that is gonna help us get some perspective and bring in some empathy to understand and think about the compassion we can have for the human behind the words, the human behind the energy that we're reading. What's going on for them? And recognizing the fear in others, because sometimes that's a reflection of the fear within us. And I think that right now, it's important for each of us to recognize if we are being unkind. Because right now, there's no place for bullies in this world. There's a lot going on for everyone. This is a time for us to seek to understand what's happening with one another instead of trying to be understood and to listen with kindness and respect. And magnolia is an essential oil 
that moves us to that place of compassion. And that's what I encourage you to do as you're trying to quiet the noise. Go into, into your heart and really listen with compassion to what others are experiencing. Be the person that is holding a space for them, a place of peace and love that can let them move through any concerns or fears that they have, any anxious feelings they have. There's a lot going on. And for people that have not yet brought a practice, a spiritual practice into their lives, they may find uh, that they're swirling around in this stuff and they don't have a place to anchor those feelings. So you can be someone who encourages them just with the essential oils to bring that energy in, that energy of compassion with magnolia, the energy of sacred devotion with the sandalwood. And the third oil I want to talk with you about is something that all of you who purchased the doTERRA convention kit experience, which is the incredibly beautiful new Tulsi or holy basil oil. Now this is an oil that's used for sacred practice in Hinduism and it's also an oil that we have something that we can really, really bring in for a lot of different purposes. Physically, the Tulsi oil is great for cardiovascular health. So what does that mean? It's our heart. What is it good for? It's good for our heart. If we uh, look at some of the other characteristics of the Tulsi oil, this is about our respiratory support. What is that? It's our lungs. It's how we breathe in life. So if you have this Tulsi essential oil, and if by any chance you don't want it, I'll buy it. But anyway, I love this new oil and I hope that you will come to love it too. And in fact, I think today is one of the last days you can actually get that convention kit and get this oil with it. It's worth every penny. But it's the oil of spiritual integration. So as we, I'm going to take another drop because I love it so much. Um, I want you to take a, just a fingertip, tap it to the forehead, apply it to the third eye. So you're sort of layering the sandalwood followed by the magnolia, followed by on the heart, uh, followed by the Tulsi, holy basil. And as you're doing that, this is like such a perfect oil for our time because it's about assisting us to bring about emotionally some balance some harmony and to integrate our experiences. It's perfect for these times. You know, we have so many emotional ups and downs right now that this is a beautiful, beautiful oil uh, for your practice. Now, um, I just received yesterday the new edition of the Emotions and Essential Oils book. And I love this book and you will too if you don't have it. But I wanna just read you a little bit of a quote from that description of the Tulsi essential oil. They talk about the fact that this oil reminds us on a soul level of our purpose, which existed before we manifested physically on this earth. Tulsi is an indispensable aid for spiritual awakening. You guys, that's why we're here. It's, we're here for this time. We're here to have to quiet our mind in, amongst all the noise. And one of the wonderful things that you can do is choose to use your essential oils to bring you to a place of peace. Choose to use your yoga practice. Deepen your practice at this time. Start to reach out. Maybe study with another person online. Maybe attend something that's outdoors or in a safe um, environment for you at this time. There is help out there for you. And whatever that is, incorporating the essential oils into your practice will make a huge difference in how you can deepen and enhance your experience. So that was my message today. I wanted to talk with you about those three tools, the sandalwood, uh, the oil of sacred devotion, magnolia, the oil of compassion, and the new Tulsi or holy basil oil, the oil of spiritual integration. And I wanna to end today with a couple of reminders for those of you that are not aware. Um, I recently released a new essential yoga back to school ebook and this is a really cool tool for those of you who are teaching yoga, either to a group or a class, indoors, outdoors, at home. Uh, I have five unique scripts that each have different essential oils that are involved. There are scripts used for adults, there are scripts for children, and it gives you a way to explain the essential oils and their purpose and use in your yoga practice. It's $14.95, and I will post the link here for you to check it out if you're interested. Also on my website, martyharger.com, 
If you sign up for my Essential Oils for Yogis newsletter that I put out occasionally, not often, but occasionally, um, you're going to get a free five-part series that talks about essential oils for yogis. So if you haven't already tapped into those resources, I just want to offer them out to you. Another great way to learn about incorporating doTERRA essential oils into your yoga practice, your yoga teaching, your yoga studio, and um, with all that's going on right now, I just hope that you continue to seek a place of peace to quiet the noise and to use these beautiful essential oils to really help bring you to a place that you can make good choices and listen to the real message within your heart. Thank you so much for joining me today, everybody. Have a beautiful week. Namaste.